In electrophilic aromatic substitution, or EAS reactions, the aromatic ring always acted as a nucleophile. However, it is also possible for the aromatic ring to react as an electrophile in a reaction called nucleophilic aromatic substitution, or SNAR. But this necessitates an electron-poor aromatic ring, which is the result of having electron-withdrawing substituents such as the nitro group. In SNAR, the reagent is a nucleophile, and a leaving group is ultimately displaced from the aromatic ring as it is replaced by that nucleophile. Notice the presence of electron withdrawing groups on the reactant. Although this is a substitution reaction, it is very important to remember that SN1 and SN2 reactions do not occur on sp2 hybridized centers. Therefore, this reaction must proceed via a unique mechanism. And this mechanism begins with the attack of the nucleophile on the electrophilic center bearing the leaving group. Rather than directly displacing the leaving group, the nucleophile pushes a pi bonding pair of electrons onto the adjacent carbon as a lone pair. The resultant carbanion is called the Meisenheimer complex, and it is resonance delocalized around the ring. In other words, those lone pair electrons can be pushed into the adjacent bond to form a new pi bond, and that pushes the green pi bonding electrons onto the adjacent atom to place the anionic character at a new ring location. A repeat of this same procedure moves the anion to yet another location on the ring. Additionally, electron withdrawing groups on the ring are important because they provide additional stabilization for the anion. Here we can see that one more resonance form is possible in which the anionic character is actually delocalized outside the ring onto an oxygen atom. And this is especially stabilizing because this is the only resonance form that places the negative charge on the more electronegative element, oxygen. Finally, the mechanism concludes when the leaving group is displaced from the ring this also happens to restore aromaticity to the ring, leaving us with the SNAR product. This mechanism is also sometimes referred to by a different name. Since the mechanism has two steps in which the nucleophile first adds and the leaving group is then removed, this reaction is also sometimes called addition elimination. Now let's turn our attention to a specific example. In the following reaction, fluoride will function as the leaving group. And this may be a bit surprising because fluoride is not considered to be a particularly good leaving group in SN1 or SN2 reactions. However, in both of those reactions, SN1 and SN2, the loss of the leaving group is involved in the rate determining step. So fluoride's poor leaving group ability matters significantly in those instances. However, in SNAR, the rate determining step is the initial attack of the nucleophile on the ring not the loss of the leaving group. And therefore, fluoride's poor leaving group ability is not particularly important since it is not acting as a leaving group during the rate determining step of the reaction. The 
first step of the mechanism, that initial attack of the nucleophile on the ring, is the rate determining step because it leads to the formation of the charged Meisenheimer complex, which is expected to be a high energy intermediate. And this initial attack occurs more rapidly when the electrophilic site has a strong partial positive charge. Fluorine's powerful electronegativity is what matters most in this reaction because it results in a large partial plus on the adjacent carbon which more efficiently attracts the nucleophile thereby enhancing the rate of the rate determining step. This reaction begins when methoxide is attracted to that intensely electron-poor carbon, and as the nucleophile attacks, a pi bond is displaced onto the adjacent atom, yielding the Meisenheimer complex. This Meisenheimer complex exhibits significant resonance delocalization of the negative charge much like what we saw in the generic mechanism earlier. Note that the negative charge is delocalized onto three different carbons of the ring. And due to the presence of a nitro group in a favorable location, that negative charge can be delocalized onto one of the oxygen atoms of the nitro group as well. And as we noted earlier, it is this last resonance structure which is particularly stabilizing because it places the anion on oxygen, which is a more electronegative element than carbon. The reaction concludes with the loss of fluoride from the Meisenheimer complex. This restores aromaticity to the ring and as a result affords the SNAR product. It's worth noting that SNAR reaction will be more rapid when the ring is more electron poor. Therefore, the following reaction is expected to progress more rapidly than the previous example. Notice that in this reaction, a second nitro group resides on the substrate. Therefore, we expect the negative charge of the Meisenheimer complex to be further stabilized by this additional electron withdrawing group. In fact, in this case, it leads to even more resonance structures for the Meisenheimer complex. So the SNAR product is exactly what we would expect. The methoxy group has replaced the fluoride, but we simply know that this reaction will be a quicker reaction than the one we looked at previously. In summary, nucleophilic aromatic substitution, or SNAR, is essentially the reverse of the electrophilic aromatic substitution paradigm. In EAS, the ring acts as a nucleophile, and it attacks an electrophile. It does so more efficiently when the ring is electron-rich due to the presence of electron-donating substituents. However, in SNAR, the ring plays the role of the electrophile. It is attacked by a nucleophilic reagent and this attack proceeds more smoothly when the ring is electron poor due to the presence of electron withdrawing substituents. To continue the comparison, in EAS, a proton on the aromatic ring was replaced by the electrophile. But in SNAR, a leaving group on the aromatic ring is replaced by a nucleophile. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, 
you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.